Hello and thank you for watching my second video about my Yamaha Tri-City 300. In this video I will give you a lot of information about the Yamaha Tri-City 300 and also my thoughts about what I like and what I like less about the Yamaha Tri-City. Just in case you haven't seen my first video yet and you like Happy Trees or Bob Ross then you may like to watch my first video. But for all those who want to know more about the Yamaha Tri-City or even consider to buy one, I recommend to watch the whole video because sure, most of it you probably already know. But who knows, maybe you will see or hear one or two things that you didn't knew until now. And yes, already in my first video I told you a few things about the Yamaha Tri-City 300. But in this second video I want to go a bit more in detail and I hope it will be useful for you. But before I will tell you a bit more about the Yamaha Tri-City 300, I will tell you where we are today. Today we will go from Westervoort to Loo, but I will not use the normal road, I will use the winter dike. So what is a winter dike? This river, same as many other rivers in the Netherlands, have a winter dike and a summer dike. When the water level is normal, then the summer dike will be very well capable to keep the water where it should be. But when the water level becomes too high, the summer dike isn't sufficient anymore. But luckily we do have the winter dike. And that dike will protect the people who live very nearby the river. So sometimes the fields that you will see on the right are completely flooded with water. So that is where we are today. I also want to tell you that same as my first video I will upload this video but without my voice. In case you just want to enjoy the scenery you can. So let's get started before this video will end up in the top 10 of most boring videos of YouTube. The Yamaha Tri-City is an Yamaha X-Max motor scooter. It has the same engine and also in the looks you can find similarities. The big difference of course is that the Tri-City has two wheels on the front. These two wheels in combination with a foot pedal brake allows you to drive this Tri-City with a full B car driver's license. But you should own this license since at least 2013. Well this is for the Netherlands, I suggest you to check the rules in your own country because they may be different. The steering mechanism on the front is designed by Yamaha itself and it's based on the Ackermann principle. It is, as you can see, very complicated and it's also quite heavy. Therefore, the difference between the weight of the Yamaha Tri-City and X-Max is 60 kg, which is a lot. But they still have the same engine and that is a 292cc 4-stroke engine. It delivers 28 horsepower. So is this enough for this machine, which is empty 239 kilograms? The answer is simple, yes and no. If you expect a racing monster, and I told you that already in my first video, just forget about the Yamaha Tri-City 300. It's not a racing monster, but it's also not slow, not at all. 
it can accelerate really quick at least until 80 or 90 and above that it will become a bit slower but still very acceptable if you same as me want to ride your bike every now and then in the weekends in sunny weather and enjoying the nature then this Yamaha Tri-City can be a very good choice for you Driving the Yamaha Tri-City is fun and easy, even though it's quite heavy. The two wheels on the front will give you enormous grip. But the feeling is a bit different compared to driving a motorbike or a scooter. It took me like around 4 hours before I really got used to it. And then the brakes. They work extremely well. And more about the brakes, it doesn't matter if you use the left or right hand. The Yamaha Tri-City will activate the front brakes and the rear brakes. About the foot pedal brake, I never used it till now, I don't even know if it works. The top speed of the Yamaha Tri-City lies around 130 according to the specs, but I have seen already many videos in which some people reach like 140 and even above that. For me that's far too quick for such a machine, I will not try to reach that speed. This machine is very friendly with the fuel. On 1 liter you reach easily 35 km. The fuel tank can contain up to 13 liters, so you can imagine that you don't have to drive from gas station to gas station. One important feature of the Yamaha Dry City is the standing assist function. It means it can stand upright by itself without using the side stand or center stand. In my next video I will explain how it works, but already now I can tell you that I hardly use it. I only use it to maneuver the machine in and out of my back garden. When standing in front of a traffic light I just use my good old two legs. What I also will explain in the next video is the LCD display. If I do it right now this video becomes far too long, so I will keep that for the following video.
All the lights on the Yamaha Tri-City are LED or LED. Except for the direction indicator lights. Why? I don't know. I have no clue. I will show you now the 12 volt outlet on the right here on the front bodywork. To be honest, I think that should have been a USB connector. And sure, you can plug in a USB adapter easily, but then you cannot cover it, so you always have to take out the adapter when you don't use it. I'm pretty sure that Yamaha will change this in future models. And then there's a storage place for your mobile phone or other small things. There is none. The reason is very simple. There's no space for it. The available space under the front bodywork is already used by the two-wheel steering system. about the front bodywork. I really like the whole design of the Yamaha Tri-City and especially of the front bodywork. It looks great, but okay, that's personal, I know. It's really wide, so while driving it keeps most of the body out of the wind. But there's also a small disadvantage. When you are driving above 100 and there's a strong side wind, then you can feel that the bodywork on the front catch a lot of wind. And that makes the Yamaha Tri-City a bit unstable on the front, but once again, that's only when there's a very strong side wind. By the way, I almost forgot to tell you that the Yamaha Tri-City has ABS and traction control. ABS is activated always, but the traction control can be switched on or off. Finally I want to show you the huge storage place under the saddle. It's really big and you can use it for two helmets, they fit. But you can also use it for transporting your dear friends.
As you can see, we already have left low, so it's time to say goodbye. Once again, it was my pleasure to make this video and I hope it was useful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe if you liked this video and I hope to see you when I post my next video. For now, thank you for watching and greetings from the Netherlands.